You know, I'm really enjoying my Advil breaks. But the one thing I think I've noticed about it is that it definitely masks the symptoms and then you pay the price the next day. <laughs> How are you feeling, dude? Pretty good. Are you ready for uh, you ready for an Advil break? No. What do you do? What do you do to my bus over there? You breaking stuff? Well, I was trying to move it because the ground's all wet. Because uh, me and Bad were talking about how we need to uh, dry out the ground. But uh, did you get stuck in the mud? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah, your bus is stuck in the mud. No. Yeah. It's. Yeah, but but it's, it's okay though, because it's gonna dry and we can still work on it. All right, that's true. That's <laughs> hilarious though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What, is, what a fifteen thousand pound bus can't even uh, take the mud. Well, twelve because we stripped out a lot of stuff. Okay. True. That's hilarious. Well, that's what happens in uh, Canada, guys. You know, anytime I do something cool and then don't film it, I feel like you guys are missing out on like a really exciting vlog, but today's video isn't about getting stuck or unstuck. Uh, <laughs> but check out these big ass divots um, that we made. <laughs> that's like, that's, that's a lot of, that's a lot of mud going up but part of it's because it's uh, getting pressed between the wheels and stuff it's not actually sinking that far uh, anyways today we're just uh, gonna continue on we're gonna do some metal work we're gonna put in a couple windows also I have a question and a favor could you guys vote and tell Michael if he should do a paid DIY series uh, complete start to start to finish or if he should do more like the traditional YouTube stuff, but kind of like um, and it's more instructional, step-by-step -step stuff, like single topic videos. So if you guys could uh, throw your uh, thoughts on that in the comments, that would be highly appreciated Very because so. he, he feels like a, a lost lamb here, doesn't know what to do. Yeah. Look who's back, everybody! <laughs> Hello! Badge is back! Do you and know what? There's probably a couple bluebird, or what is this? Uh... The school bus guys are probably just choked because I just took out probably $5,000 of the wiring and just chucked it in the pile <laughs> over there. <laughs> Very true. So uh, Badge uh, is back uh, today. Uh, he's back where he, you know, likes to be with the, the wiring Look at here. There's but... no wires hanging out there. You see that? Oh, yeah. There's no wires hanging out there anymore. <laughs> They're all in a pile on the floor. <laughs> nice. Um, I love it. So uh, we're, we're welcoming, welcoming him back. Uh, Mike is uh, pre-drilling some, uh, some holes to secure um, what we did yesterday. So we have a fun little fix here that I think you guys are gonna like. Uh, I'm gonna actually tell him right now that he should do a, yo man, you should do a tutorial on these things. Oh wow, we're filming it. Jax is, uh, Jax helped me film it, so. No, no, with the little plate thing that we just oh, discovered. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we, we, we just kind of custom made these uh, plate things to secure the, uh, uh, like that, uh, to secure the, uh, the window so it doesn't go in and out. Because if it does go in and out, I guess it can break the caulk and then if you get, if you break your caulk, you can get w uh, water inside. You don't want, you want to, you don't want to do that. Well, what a beautiful day in the neighborhood. It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. <laughs> By the way, we're in the middle of nowhere. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. The, neighborhood, the neighborhood consists of a bunch of fields. <laughs> Badge, where are we going? Tell everybody where we're going, what we're doing. We're going to a big junkyard. This yeah. guy got every all the junk that you can think of. Every class 8 truck. Yeah, yeah look at this. That's just a big junk. <laughs> be here for days, Jack. Oh, what is that? A school bus. There you go. Uh-oh, we might actually... Oh, that is my old manufacturer of school bus, actually. That's a core beal. Uh, so basically... Wow, look at that engine. Uh, so basically, this is what we're doing today. We're gonna look for some parts. We're gonna look for, I see an international engine. Already. Wait, is that a DT-466 badge? Mechanical? Yeah, it is too, <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh, is that another one? Yeah. Uh-oh. Yeah. Uh, that's an old mechanical, right? Uh-oh. I think we were, I think we were looking for that sucker. Uh-oh. Mechanical, primer pump? I don't know, uh -oh. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't, yeah, let's not even get into the discussion about an engine swap, but what we're looking oh for, <laughs> what we're looking for today is uh, uh, fuel tanks, we might get a, a rear end, and, uh, oh yeah, Mike, is that your engine? This is my engine. 
That's a huge engine, man. Yeah, dude. That's pulled big. Me up, pulled me up around the country. Um, and then we're also going to be looking for a rooftop air conditioner. It's called a Red Dot and some other parts. So, uh, I don't know. I feel like a kidney candy store right now because I'm getting more and more excited about all this, uh, you know, engine stuff here. Especially with badge. Oh, watch your step. Uh, we got some serious... <laughs> serious. <laughs> serious. <laughs> we got some serious options over here. These obviously are a little on the rusty side, but... Uh, that's the ones we need right there. Yeah, this is, is, that, is that the center one that goes down the uh, frame? No, they make, them, they make them wider than this. They're a little bit flatter. Okay. But boy, oh boy, do we have some options. Let's check out all these diesel tanks. I hope they come with free fuel. That is a huge, that is a huge, I don't know what I'm stepping on either. Oh, whoa, 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 it's so slippery. <laughs> That's a well. What is that? 150. Oh, wow. Right there. I don't know if we got enough room. Right That's a nice tank. Oh, we can measure it out and check it out. My goodness. Look at the size of that thing. Yeah, I think Just for reference. That would go. Oh, we need some brackets for it. Mike, if you fall, I'll pull you out because that looks yeah. like the well. I think that this thing, uh... The thing is about six feet long. We need straps for it. And it's clean. Let's take this one. Dude, look how light it is. What? Oh, my God. What did I get myself into? Size comparison. Oh, my God. Jeez. That's the one there. That's nuts. So we got to get straps for that. All right. We'll take that one. Well, there's only one of them, so. Yeah, I'm going to put it back down. All right. So there's straps all over the place. But that's. You are going to be mine. And you're going to have a future home holding lots of vegetable oil. Which one? How much money I made off working on this thing? Which one? Oh, God, that's Doug Hubley's truck. My God, I worked on this thing for 10 years. Did you? This one here. Yep. 10 years. I worked on this for 10 years. Really? I made a ton of money off that thing. Wow. Holy yeah. smoke. Yeah, this here is, is this is where it lays. In the yeah, in the boneyard. All right, guys, let me show you what uh, one thing we're looking for here is an AC unit. Just for example, look at how old this truck is here. Um, but what we're looking for is that thing right there, a red dot. Looks pretty old. We'll try and find a newer one. That is basically a part that we're looking for. Brand new, they're like, <coughs> I think a thousand bucks just for the unit, 1200 bucks. So if we can find something, you know, repurpose it, bring it back to life, spit shine it. on there for you. It's a rotodeca valve, right? It goes on by air, shuts the air off. They can't steal it. You can't steal it unless they reset that. Really? Yeah. But it's, so it's a manual thing? It's a manual. It's set with air and you flip the switch and it'll trigger it and it'll go down and shut the engine off. Huh. And you just shut it off when you park at night and it won't start. Huh. They can do whatever they want. Unless Interesting. They <laughs> unless they know, they won't ever get it going. That's hilarious. Didn't even know something like that existed. Only problem is now they know. Yeah. So. I just have a trip down memory lane. What'd you find now, Badge? This one here, Euclid Transport out of Two Hills. I worked on that one a couple times. Did you? What'd you do to it? Do you remember? Oh, I fixed. Uh, see, it's a Peterbilt too, right? Yeah. Uh, I fixed that one up. I fixed that one up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah
take and trade the bus off for that red truck. Yep. <laughs> truck life. Truck life. Well, I'll truck definitely truck need it. I'll definitely need a new license for that thing. <laughs> well, maybe we'll go get a cherry picker. How yeah. about a cherry picker? Oh, well, you... we can get up in life. Well, you know, I could put my uh, Wi-Fi signal you up could, there. And that, put that's... her up high the good and still that's, have that's no signal. That's how Victorian Wi-Fi is on the road. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, so, did we tell you how shitty the Wi-Fi was? Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. So uh, anyway, so there's a plan. Uh, we got a few things to fix, we're measure. We're measure. coming back here in a few days. Yeah, we're gonna take some measurements, and because I still think we should put them two 150s on the back end. One for water, one for gas, yeah, or for cool. diesel. Yeah. And then we'll be laughing. Then everything's underneath, right? Yeah. Yep, most and of it. And then we're doing a, a gear change in the rear end. Gear change, yeah. 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 And you don't want them div them things there when you're doing a gear change. Yeah, yeah. Can you imagine so trying to drag that dip I don't want to no. think about it. We'll make him do it. <laughs> Holy crap! Look at that, an elk ranch. Whoa! You can't take a gun and shoot them babies. Those are farm ones. Really? Yeah. Holy crap. They raised them there. They're there's and elk right there. Those babies. Wow. That's an elk ranch, yep. See how high the fence is? Yeah. 12 feet up. That's they are. Elk the only time I ever saw anything close to that was Texas, and they have uh, trophy hunting within uh, the no, gates I, like that. You can't trophy hunt them. Those are, they raise them to, they raise them like cows, and they cut them, right? Yeah. Cut them, yeah. That's Close up the curtain Stay on the phone We are the monsters Holding you still Alright guys, we are back at uh, Squattersville, Alberta, Canada. <laughs> it's got me an inside joke. We're gonna go for uh, some dinner. You have fun today? Yeah. I think we found some good prospects on the tanks. Oh, yeah, we sure did. This is going to be super, super excited. exciting. Exciting. Um, like I said, if I get 10 miles per gallon and I have over, you know, say 200 gallons of fuel, 8 pounds of fuel uh, per gallon, I'm going to have a 2,000 plus mile range. So for all those people asking me, oh, well, you know, isn't... Uh, that going to be hard to find. There's mosquitoes. Let's oh. close this. Um, yes, it's not readily available everywhere. However, with such a large capacity, I will only have to fill up every 2,000 miles. And um, it should be a lot cheaper than diesel. Diesel prices are going up. So that's about it for today. Tomorrow we're going to start uh, working on the bus again. You want to say any final words? Uh, I don't know. If anyone's worried about... Uh us carrying that much weight on the bus, don't worry, it's uh, totally rated for it. There we go. <laughs>